it's winter time, uh, late December here in Florida. We've got a nice day of south wind. Uh, it's trout season. There's winter time, we just rolled up to this clear flat and saw a bunch of trout laid up in about two to four feet of water. Got a lot of potholes, we've got uh, some grass mixed in and a lot of bait fish around. It's a perfect time to throw the small three and a half inch slow tail. Trout are pretty aggressive, so when you find them, um, just making the right presentation is gonna get you hooked up. So what I like to do is use a quick pop retrieve that's gonna keep the bait bouncing six to eight inches at a time uh, without getting down on the grass. So you're gonna work it at like a medium, medium fast speed. Just casting down a drop off, it's about five feet here, two feet over here. Let the bait sink for about two seconds, then two sharp rod tip switches. Keep working it in. If you if you get a hit and they miss it, keep going because a lot of times there may be a couple more following it in there. Just keep working it in. Allow the bait to slowly sink down and just kind of feel that pause. If you miss them there, just give another cast. We're just kind of swimming it over the potholes. There's all these little breaks in the grass. You don't want the bait to drag on the bottom or you're gonna get all kind of caught up in the seaweed. Just kind of twitch, twitch it in. And before we started filming, we already hooked a couple here, so we might've kind of spooked them off in the shallow. So I'm gonna work. Edge. This is out probably in about five feet, so you can let it sink a little bit lower. It's really worth that pause. Just continuing to work down that edge. And uh, these are healthy fish, I mean. Trout right there, and uh, you can see we got that slow tail. They're just mowing that down. That's that three and a half inch, but uh, beautiful fish. We're just doing catch and release. They're not my favorite to uh, eat, but I know a lot of people really like them. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, black and gold, and a nice healthy winter trout down here in Southwest Florida. I like about these slow tails, when you're working them back in with these little hops, you get a lot of flutter on the drop without having to move the bait a long distance. So we need to move things a little bit slower and kind of be pinpoint like we're fishing these potholes and working them through a small area. It's, it's great for that. And you can just feel that bait on the sink, let it come up, continue popping it as you come back around. You'll get a mix up here. Um, it's a little cooler, but you may have snuck. There's definitely some redfish we saw in the mix. And then uh, these trout are in pretty big schools. We're seeing pockets of six to seven fish laid up together, um, which is pretty common in the winter time. You wanna work all the depth ranges up from the shallows. And even these outside edges that four to five feet of water. We've moved around a little bit. We popped over to another uh, grass flat. It's kind of in this, tucked away in this bay here. And there's a pile of trout up here working. We're about four feet of water over mixed grass. And just working. Times it just kind of picks up the slack for you. Work in these pops. Like 
Not the biggest one of the day, but the uh, technique remains the same. And, you know, for down here in Florida, targeting trout during the winter time is, is pretty classic. A lot of folks that come down for the season. This is one of the species that uh, folks, folks will start to get into first out on the flats because they are aggressive, they're pretty plentiful, and uh, some people do enjoy eating them. But yeah, throwing the slow tail out here, working the shallow flats. Uh, we just have our regular medium inshore casting outfit, 20 pound braid, 20 pound leader. I've got a 5,000 Stratic, um, but you can use any light tackle inshore setup. It's simple fishing. This is a great bait that casts a long ways and gets bit when their fish are out here on the puddles.